the Lord provides to us. We want to thank everyone that is watching this morning and joining us online and everyone that is in attendance with us presently. There's many places that you can go where you will feel good and have a great time, but in the end, it's never enough. Thank you, Jesus. It's never enough, but when you're in the presence of the Lord, thank you, Jesus. He is everything. He fills our soul. He gives us peace. In His presence, there is fullness of joy, and at His right hand, there's treasures forevermore. Thank you. There's no one like our God. There, you can't convince me that there is anything else out there or anyone else out there that can compare to Jesus Christ, the one who died for our sins, the one that shed his precious blood on Calvary's cross. And no matter where you are, he is there present with you. Only if you just take the time to focus on him, put your minds on him wherever you are, his presence can be felt. And these days and times, we definitely need the comfort of our Lord. So at this time, as we start our service, we want to read a portion of Scripture. If you have your Bibles, if you would turn to Hebrews chapter 1. Hebrews chapter 1, starting at the first verse. And it reads as thus, Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1. God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in times past unto the fathers, by the prophets have in these last days spoken unto us by his son whom he had appointed heir of all things by whom also he made his world made the world who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the power, by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels, as he had by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. For unto which the angel said, He at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, When he bringeth in first begotten into the world, he saith, and let all the angels of God worship him. And of the angels, he said, who maketh his angels spirit and his ministers a flame of fire? But unto the Son, he saith, thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the 
the scepter of thy kingdom. Thou hast loved righteousness and hateth iniquity. Therefore, God, even thy God, has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellow. And thy Lord in the beginning has laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of thy hands. And once again, I want to read verse 3 one more time. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Jesus, thank you for the reading of your word because it provides us revelation of who you are and what you have done for us by himself have purged our sins. When it wasn't even his responsibility. He's purged our sins by his blood. And if we pray today, no matter what is going on in your life, no matter what's hindering progress, no matter what's plaguing our minds and flooding our thoughts. I know one. I know a man. I know a God. And his name is Jesus. Who has done so much and impacted so much. And as we pray, let us keep that in mind. Let us keep our hearts and minds focused on that very thing of who he is. As we bow our heads this morning and as we pray as a family, I wish that everyone, wherever you are, would open up your mind begin to surrender to the Lord. I can't pray for you. Because God gave you a mouth. God gave you breath to communicate with Him. And I'm saying that for a reason. Unified as a body we cry out to the Lord. Yes, Jesus. We thank you today. Oh, God, there's not much we can say that you don't already know. Touch every heart. Touch every mind right now, oh, God. That you have free liberty. That you have free free reign over our lives, oh God. That you make a way out of no way because we know that you can and you are the master. You are the potter and we are the clay. We take our time, oh God, and reflect and think and meditate at this moment so we shall not forget day by day and hour by hour of who you are. Many have fallen by the wayside. Many have gone astray. Many have forgotten the very thing that you have done. Jesus, we shall never 
forget. We shall, oh God, always honor and praise you and give you reverence, oh Jesus. We thank you today, oh God. And we pray in Jesus' name. You would just clap your hands and give God a praise. Because he's worthy. He's worthy. Come on, he's worthy. Yes. It's not based on anything that man has done. And if somebody has done something for you, it's because God has placed them in your life to do so. I understand there's a lot of things that happen. There's a lot of things that weigh on us. There's a lot of things we have to think about. There's many distractions. But in those times, if we could really just allow ourselves the chance to refocus and not be ashamed and not feel condemned because God is standing right there with his arms open. We should never let our fire die out, our desire to decrease. And if it does, we shouldn't be ashamed. We should not feel any weight because there is no condemnation for them that are in Christ Jesus. And I just feel just to encourage someone before the praise team comes up. That it's a press. I press, like Paul said, I press towards the mark of the high calling. And I feel that we have given up on ourselves to continue to press because we depended on either our things or other objects to make us happy instead of Christ. But once we realize that when we regain focus, God has been waiting for us the whole time. And it's part of his plan for us to go through to be perfected. And if we can just clap our hands one more time as Sister Ashley comes unto the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, let's just lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
I just love giving the name of Jesus. I love lifting up the name of Jesus. I love coming into his house and his presence being here. I love being here with each and every one of you. Um, I don't count it robbery that the Lord has blessed me to see another week and to be in his house because it could have been another way, and I'm so very grateful. I'm going to start. I'm just going to sing just two songs that I'm going to get out of your way on this morning. Um, but these two songs were on my heart, and so I'm just going to sing a little bit of them. This is how I fight my battles, and this is how I fight my battles, and this is how I fight my battles, and this is how I, and this is how I fight my battles, and this is how I fight my battles. And this is how I fight my battles. And this is how I. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. And this is how I fight my battles. And this is how I fight my battles. And this is how I fight my battles. And this is how I. And this is how I fight my battles. And this is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles, and this is how I, this is how I fight my battles, and this is how I fight my battles, and this is how I fight my battles, and this is how I, it may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you it may look like i'm surrounded but i'm surrounded by you it may look like i'm surrounded but i'm surrounded by you oh god yeah it may look like i'm surrounded but i'm surrounded by you and this is how i find my battles and this is how I fight my battles. And this is how I fight my battles. And this is how I. And this is how I fight my battles. And this is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. And this is how I. There's a table that you prepared for me In the presence of my enemies It's your body and your blood you shed for me And this is how I fight my battle And I believe you've overcome, and I will lift my song of praise to you, God. And this is how I fight my battles, and this is how I fight my battles, and this is how I fight my battles, and this is how I. This is how I fight my battles, and this is how I fight my battles, and this is how I fight my battles, and this is how I. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you, oh God, yes. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded 
hurt by you It may look like I'm so rounded But I'm so rounded by you And this is how I fight my battles And this is how I fight my battles And this is how I fight my battles And this is how I And this is how I fight my battles And this is how I fight my battles This is how I fight my battles And this is how I Hallelujah In the valley I know that you're with me And surely your goodness and your mercy follows me Cause my weapons are praise and thanksgiving This is how I fight my battles Someone help me say This is how I fight my battles And this is how I fight my battles and this is how I fight my battles. And this is how I. And this is how I fight my battles. And this is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. And this is how I. Last time, sing it with me. This is how I fight my battles, yeah. Oh yes, this is how I fight my battles And this is how I It may look like I'm so rounded But I'm so rounded by you It may look like I'm so rounded But I'm so rounded by you, oh God, yes It may look like I'm so rounded but I'm surrounded by you It may look like I'm surrounded But I'm surrounded by you Hallelujah, hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah this is how we fight our battles with praise and thanksgiving with worship hallelujah this is how this is how this is how this is how oh god this is how i fight my battles and this is how i fight my battles this is how i fight my battles and this is how i Hallelujah, hallelujah. Starting to see the darkness around me is just a shadow of your wing, oh God. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. I'm starting to see the darkness around me is just a shadow of your wing. Hallelujah, God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, oh God, yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, let's just lift up a praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. How many know that God is worthy of all the praise and all the glory and all the honor? Hallelujah, hallelujah. And he's given us ways and, and tools to be successful in fighting the enemy, amen. And our weapons of warfare, hallelujah, are not carnal, amen. They're not physical things. And what seems silly to others, those are the tools that the Lord has given us to combat the enemy because it's a spiritual battle that we face each and every day along with a physical battle, amen? And so I've just come to remind you that no matter what, that you can fight the enemy through a praise, you can fight him through the lifting up of your hands because 
He wants you to feel like your praise doesn't matter, but your praise indeed matters and it is important. And God wants you to sing of his, of his glory and his goodness and remind yourself that he's coming back again. He wants you to remember that your praise has meaning and that there is connection with the Father through our praise. Amen? Amen? I'm just going to sing one more song of praise, and then I am indeed going to get out of your way. But we used to sing this when I was a little girl, and it's just a song that I love. So I'm just going to sing a little bit of it. Amen? I love to praise Him. I love to praise His name. I love to praise Him. I love to praise Him. I love to praise Him. I love to praise Oh, I love to praise His holy. I love to praise Him. I love, I love to praise Him. I love to praise. I love to praise Him. I love to praise. Oh, I love to pray this whole. I love to lift him up. I love to pray. I love to lift him up. I love to pray. I love to lift him up. I love to pray. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, clap your hands, everybody, and give them some praise in the house. 
Certainly, we love to praise and magnify the name of the Lord. It is good to see your faces again, that the Lord has kept you. He has preserved you. He has watched over you. He has provided for your needs. Certainly, the enemy has tried to uh, shut doors in our faces and tried to hinder our progress. But God has been there in every situation. And yet we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus, our Lord. So somebody need to give him some praise for just allowing you to be a, a conqueror and an overcomer. Everybody is placing so much emphasis on the crisis that we have to deal with, different issues and problems that we are facing as a country and as a global community worldwide. But we know that there is a righteous judge. There is a king of kings. There's a lord of lords that sits high and he looks low. And so there's no need to worry or to be so anxious and so disillusioned and bewildered and overtaken in fear when you have such a great God fighting the battle for you. And so if you want to really fight the battle, it's time to get on your knees. If you really want to fight the battle, it's time to lift up your head and look up to glory. You magnify God for what he's already done. I said, don't wait. Go ahead and praise him now. Hallelujah. Go ahead and thank him now for what he's already working out in your favor. As we stand for the reading of God's word, I want to start reading from the book of Romans. In the eighth chapter, a very familiar passage of scripture. We're going to read from the first verse, starting at the first verse, down to the eighth verse. It says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. But what the law could not do, and that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit the things of the Spirit. But to be cardinally minded is death, peace, death, but to be spiritual minded is life and peace. Because the cardinal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. So then they that are in the flesh Cannot please God. As my heads, Lord God, we thank you today for your word that was left. Writing for us the instructions that are given to everyone that will grab hold and believe on your name. The opportunity to be saved and delivered from the shackles of sin. Thank you, Lord God, because when we weren't even conscious and aware of the fact that we really needed to be washed cleansed and changed. You open up our eyes. You open up our ears. You help us, Lord God, to receive you and your word. And then you released us from the prisons of darkness. And you gave us an opportunity to be heirs to the throne of glory. So, Lord, we recognize it's not by any work that we have performed, but only the work of Jesus Christ that have declared us not guilty. So, Lord God, we thank you now. We praise you and we exalt your name in this place. 
Thank you for being a body of baptized believers that have been brought together into the family of Christ. Oh God, let us be counted worthy to escape the wrath of God that is to come and to be identified, Lord Jesus, with your body until you return and throughout eternity. And we'll be careful to give you the praise and the glory and the honor for this. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. You may be seated. Paul begins to write by saying, there is now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. So, as a body of believers, those that are listening on, we come to the realization that outside of Christ, there is condemnation. So today, we need to understand the importance of being in Christ so that we are not condemned and that we are not caught outside of the ark of safety. When you face condemnation, you face blame. You are pronounced guilty or you are sentenced to punishment or you are sentenced to death. And you are sentenced this, this way by your actions, by your behavior, and by what you have been engaged in in your daily lives. We were actually snared and captured by our sin nature. And with our own strength, we were unable to come out by ourselves. But thanks be to God that while we were yet in our sin, while we were yet walking in darkness, Jesus looked upon the state of humanity. And because he loved us as his creation, he made a way for us to be set free from the sentence of death and eternal damnation. The Bible says that we were walking after our flesh. You can say anything you want about other folk who are having problems in their life. But I believe that Scripture declared that all have sin. So therefore, we were all walking contrary to the will of God. And by right, we should have been destroyed and left in utter darkness. But the Bible says it is because Christ made a way to come to him through faith. And now we are justified by faith. And because we have this saving grace, we can actually find peace with God through Jesus Christ. And we can gain access to this grace, which is the unmerited favor of God, by faith. And when we find this grace in God, we can stand assuredly knowing that God alone is our shield and our buckler and the shade that is on our right hand. There's no need to sit there and be sorryful because of your past. But it's time to focus on your future in the Lord. Matter of fact, the Bible says rejoice. Rejoice. Why? Because you have hope in the glory of God. Why? Because though we may face tribulations and hardship, tribulations in our lives... Oh, it's working patience. And patience is giving us experience. And experience is giving us hope.
because we are not ashamed by our past, but we are rejoicing because we have been delivered from the hands of the enemy and no longer facing a sentence of death, but have been declared not guilty through the works of Jesus Christ. And so the Holy Ghost has shed peace in our hearts and love in our hearts by the Spirit of God that now reign in our members. Oh, praise the Lord. My members were once ruled, praise the Lord, by the enemy. And so they were unruly and they were unable to be brought into subjection by my own will. But when the Holy Ghost came in and began to abide on the inside, the Spirit of God gave me power, amen, to bring the enemy under subjection through the power of Jesus Christ. Somebody tell him hallelujah. Oh yes, I was once lost. I was once severed uh, from this great inheritance that God provided through the Lamb of God and His dear Son, Jesus Christ. But look at here, Jesus paid it all. Uh, and all to Him I owe. And sin that once left a crimson stain, Jesus, after He suffered and bled and died, Jesus, after He was marred and beaten all night long, Jesus, after he allowed them to lie on him and mistreat him and nail him to the cross. I said Jesus allowed them to lift him up in the air and jam his cross in the ground. I said Jesus the son of the living God hung his head and locked it in his shoulder and said it is finished. And when he said it was finished he made a way for us to be reconciled unto God. And so he stood in the gap when we were lost and had no hope and had no peace and was declared guilty and indeed rightfully so. I said Jesus stayed in the gap until deliverance came unto humanity and and deliverance came um, to humanity. You and I had a chance to come out of the snare of the fowler. I said you and I had a chance to come out of the darkness and the dungeons, the dungeons of hell. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Oh yes, we were enslaved, amen, by the acts of our flesh. Matter of fact, the Bible declares that we were trapped. Uh, praise our God by unrighteousness. Many of us were out of right standing with the Lord. Why? Because we were covetous. Amen. Why? Because we were malicious. Amen. Why? Because we were full of envy and strife. Amen. Why? Because, amen, we were so, amen, aggravated, amen, with life events uh, until we were always, amen, debating about what was godly and what was ungodly and how we should live our lives uh, according to our own desires and passions uh, and whether we should submit uh, unto the will of God. Uh, many of us were deceitful. Ah, uh, uh, God, many of us uh, was whisperers and gossipers. Uh, praise the Lord and trouble make uh, there were people that were sent uh, into even the house of God uh, to start division and strife among believers. Uh, but praise God. God. He took away amen the spiteful words out of our mouth. He took away amen the spirit of pride that caused us to be puffed up and lifted up in ourselves. He took away the boasting out of our mouths and the inventing of evil things out of our thoughts. Help 
helped us to stop being disobedient unto parents. But he gave us understanding because we were operating out of the understanding of the Lord. But in the understanding of men. But praise God, he stopped us from being covenant breakers. In other words, amen, we were signing our name on the line and saying that we would, but we knew we were lying and never intended to pay our bills, never intending to complete the task that we said that we would. We were never intending to pay our taxes or to be, amen, individuals uh, that were working in society to be productive members among those uh, that were trying to do right. Uh, we allowed our affections uh, to take us into areas that were unnatural and displeasing to God. Uh, we became unmerciful. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing. Uh, we wanted God to have mercy on us, uh, but we were unwilling to to have mercy on others. We lost our compassion and our ability uh, to be long-suffering and allow men to grow up and mature in Christ. And many of us, uh, God, we cast judgment upon our brothers and sisters falsely, not realizing their condition or their problem in their life. But God loved us nevertheless because we were worthy of death. We were worthy to be judged as sinners and ungodly men. But the Lord loved us enough that while we were yet in our sins, he came and he took on the sins of the world. And that every generation that would come on the scene could hear a word from the Lord and be delivered. That's your stress. That's your fear. Amen. That your double mindedness can be, amen, overcome by the power of the love of God. That you can learn to forgive those that spitefully use you. Amen. Those that rose up against you to do you harm. Because as you love them, even if they resist, it'll be like heaping coals of fire on their head. In other words, when you you are in the Lord. Uh, you can overcome the problem in your life uh, because when you are in the Lord, you have access to grace. Uh, when you are in the Lord, you have access to power. When you are in the Lord, you have access to forgiveness. Uh, when you are in the Lord, uh, you can overcome a lying demon uh, and a back Fighting satanic power when you are in the Lord it may look like the water is going to overtake you but you can walk through the water and the Lord will separate the waters in your life the fire may come but you don't have to worry because the Lord is your protector and he will calm the fire somebody tell him hallelujah Oh yes, if you are in the Lord, but when you are in the flesh, that's when condemnation will come your direction. When you are operating in your flesh, that's when you are in fear. When you are operating in your flesh, that's when your head is hanging low. When you are operating in your flesh, that's when you can't seem to get your relationships right when you are in your flesh that's when you have problems and contention with your co-workers when you are in your flesh that's when you can't seem to ever get peace in your mind but when you are in the Lord you can say I am more than a conqueror anybody in here about to rise up out of your condition why? because the spirit of 
of the law of life have set me free from the law of sin and death. I was dying in sin. I was drowning in despair. I was lost. Praise our God in the cares of life. I was worried about politics. I was worried about the government structure. I was worried about the food and the resources of life. Could I afford amen, my living expenses? Can I afford amen, the gas prices? But when you are in the Lord, the gas prices amen, may rise. I said, but my blessings from heaven are equivalent or great enough amen, to manage my life crisis. Anybody leaning on the Lord, I'm not leaning to my own understanding, but in all of my ways, anybody in here gonna lean on the Lord in all of my ways. I'm gonna acknowledge Him that He may direct my path. Somebody tell Him hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of our God. Oh, praise the name of our God. I said in all of his ways, God, in all of our ways, amen, God is going to bless us if we acknowledge him. But the enemy is trying to get us to walk in our flesh. But when you are in your flesh, there is a battle against God. There is a battle against truth. There is a battle against against hope and peace because there is a resistance to God in your flesh. It cannot bow. It cannot submit. It is carnal. It is earthly. And so when you caught up in your flesh, you begin to speak words that are destructive to your own blessing. You begin to say, listen here, I can't do that. But when you're in Christ, you say, yes Lord, whatever you say, however you want to work, however you want to bless, I'll go if you want me to go. I'll do it if you want me to do it. When you're in the flesh, you get arrogant. When you're in the flesh, you become bitter. When you're in the flesh, you become weighted. When you're in the flesh, you operate in violence and anger. But in the spirit, there is love. Amen. There is joy. There is rejoicing evermore. Why are they dancing in the spirit because I was in trouble but the Lord I said he brought me out I was in despair but the Lord I said he brought me out I was sinking deep in sin but the Lord reached out and pulled me out snatched me out of the grasp of the enemy I was lost but now I'm found how did you get found? I got in the Lord because once I got in the Lord, I got some joy unspeakable and full of glory. And though the enemy had me in the dungeon, I was like Paul and Silas. I got me a song. I got me a praise. I began to sing until the prison doors began to open. Oh, glory to God. I sang until my soul got happy. I sang until my joy began to flow like a river. I sang until the midnight hour turned in the day. I sang until the angels of heaven got dispatched in my situation and brought me victory. Some Somebody say yeah. Hallelujah. Hey God. I got in the Lord. I got out of myself. 
I got out of myself uh, and I began to say, Lord, uh, clothe me uh, in your righteousness. Uh, cloak me uh, and let me praise you uh, until I come out of this mess. Uh, let me praise you uh, until my situation uh, began to turn. Uh, let me praise you uh, until the darkness uh, began to dissipate. Uh, let me praise you uh, until the storm uh, passes over. Uh, let me praise you uh, until my children uh, start acting right. Uh, let me praise you uh, until the bills uh, miraculously uh, get paid. Uh, let me praise you uh, until eternity uh, rolls uh, and the heavens uh, pop open. Uh, let me praise you uh, until there's no more breath uh, in my body. Uh, let me praise you uh, because even if I die uh, this first death uh, Praise our God. There's a resurrection that's coming. Oh, glory. And if I'm looking for you, if I love your appearing, I'm going to be caught up to meet you in the air. Anybody looking to be caught up? Oh, praise God. I'm looking to get out of here. This is not my home. I'm in the Lord. And when I'm wrapped up, when I'm tied up, when I'm tangled up in Jesus I said the world can't do me no harm tell him yes tell him yes tell him yes thank you Jesus you may be in the flesh on this morning but know this the victory is not in the flesh. Condemnation is in the operation of the flesh. Death is in the operation of the flesh. But I said there's life everlasting in the spirit. Walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Stay in Christ. Because in Christ, you will not be declared guilty. In Christ, you will escape the wrath to come. In Christ, there is joy for eternity row. In Christ, there's joy everlasting. The half not even been told. Come on. If you love him. Come on and shout hallelujah. If you love him. Come on and give him some praise. I don't care where you find yourself. Just praise him right now. Because the blessing... Is in your mouth. Praise him until you come out of your situation. Praise him until the enemy is set to a flight. Praise him until liberty comes your way. Hallelujah. May God bless you. May heaven rest and smile upon you until Jesus returns for his church is our prayer. Amen. Come on and praise him, saints. Just stand up and praise him for a minute. Just lift your hands. Praise him from the depth of your soul. In this very...